But I don't have an opinion on that one because I don't. I've never used it. I'm not a fan of people walk. That's been happening to me a lot in my uh, duo squads at night. People literally just walking in to my box. I'm not a fan of that. That guy was not good enough to kill me. Let's be honest. That guy didn't deserve to kill me. But, again, I told you, retail's curse today. So we're just going to go right back down and feed into this curse until we break it. We have to break out of our chains. But the final mouse is, uh, I mean, it's a good mouse so far. I haven't had any of the troubles that people report with it. Um, if you have the cash and you want the mouse, I would say the weight is definitely worth why am I not sprinting game? A lot of people here. Alright, boys. Here's the deal. We've been dying. A lot. We don't like that. We just died to some scrub lord. We just fell over to a trash can. We can't allow that. So we're gonna get aggressive. We're gonna reclaim our lost honor. This way, we can actually win a game today. We just need a shotgun. Because that other dude already has attack. So once we get the shotgun, we'll work on reclaiming our lost honor. Oh, okay. I'll take that. I'm also not sure if I'm hitching or if it's just... Well, we lost this game, friends. Pretty, pretty straightforward. This one's over. We just got two scars in the same room. It's never a good sign. I mean, people like that guy think they're invincible and they think they're gods at the game. So yeah, they really want to, uh, they really want to get in your box. What bothers me about that is not the mentality of it, but mostly that he just, w like, phased in between my build. He just was, like, if, if this were a wall, he was just doing this while I was rebuilding the wall. And eventually he gets in. I don't like it. And it's dumb. If I was, like, a little more on point, I would have killed him. Screw this kid on the roof as well. No shotgun. I find myself struggling to care. Where's the sticks? You see how this guy's walking? He's literally walking into my structure. Where's this guy's shotgun again? There it is. Wait. That's what he's that's what everybody's trying to do now because they figured out you've been able to do it for a long time now. But uh, more scrub lords have figured out that you can run into someone's box if you just walk into the wall. So, it's become a thing that I have to look out for. I'm edit glitched? Okay. There we go. There we go. I literally could not edit that back. That's unfortunate. Real unfortunate. Great. Not going out like that kid not right now too pissed <sighs> but yeah that's been a thing for a while 
Is there a counter to people who barrel stuff me? Barrel stuff them first, dude. <laughs> Unfortunately, sometimes you do just have to hit somebody with your shot. If you can't build and they're right in your face, you just have to barrel stuff them first. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it goes. But yes, people have figured out now. Like, that guy that was uh, the Bright Bomber, they were trying to do it because it, it's gotten a little bit of exposure. And it's unfortunate because I'm pretty sure it's not an intended interaction. I'm just waiting till I'm in the box and somebody double traps me. Then I'm going to be real pissed. Because that's definitely a 110% unintended. And there's no real counterplay. Oh, I see a body out in the street. That's actually fantastic for me. Anyway, I don't really like dying like that. Like, uh, somebody just running in like a scrub. If I were a little more warmed up, I probably could have killed him with just shots. But I wasn't really paying as much attention as I needed to pay. Like, I need to know that they're about to phase through. So you see them running up against your wall and you know that it's probably going to happen. Then you can anticipate it better. But we're early in the morning with our slow brain. So... Not much to be done. But yeah, if somebody's just rushing at you and trying to stick a gun in your face, sometimes you just have to do the same to them. You just have to put your gun in their face. If you if they're too close that you can't build against them and stuff, the counter is to just hit your shot. Unfortunate that it's that binary sometimes, but that'd be the way it be. Sometimes it is about shooting. Also remain calm. That helps a ton. Like if you're if you're getting rushed and you just stay calm, you have a higher like you're not going to feel the pressure of the moment and you're going to be more calm. Sorry, calm. You're going to be more focused. It's going to be easier to deal with. I also definitely feel like hitching in my game right now. I may restart my client after we lose this one. I've been wondering all day if I've been or well, all day I've been wondering for the past few games if I've been feeling hitches, and I'm pretty sure I am. Like, little tiny ones. The best kind. The kind that you can barely tell are there, but they they are. So we survived the early game somehow by some miracle. We're going to farm up. We're going to see if we can't throw this game in the late game, you know what I mean? We're going to do something dumb to get ourselves killed. All those aggressive people in the early game. Goodbye. I bid you farewell. I hope you do well in the rest of your games. Let's go hit our shots. Eight seconds. We'll figure out where we need to go. We have a decent amount of wood, and that's enough to kill someone. So, let's just hope. Great. Uh, this is like the worst zone that I could get out of retail. Whoops. Because now... I just have to work my way back into an area that I've already come from, S t sort of, kind of. People probably landed back there. Nobody's going to be pressured by the storm. Just one big death pit back there. So let's go ahead and get ahead of the curve and go back there and get dead. Do I know when Playground's coming out? I do not. I'm hoping soon because I really want to practice a bunch of things. I have a lot of stuff I want to get better at. that isn't really feasible to practice in 50v50 or anything. I'm hoping maybe Thursday, but I have no like real time, real clue as to when. <laughs> I feel your pain, Randikin. I played uh, with a friend last night in duo squads and I think we played six or seven and we, uh, we only won one after an extremely long sequence of unfortunate events. We got second like two or three times. And we died to like... Oh, I got tilted, honestly, to be perfectly honest. I got tilted because people kept coming through my stupid walls, man. That's been happening more and more. And I'm not liking it. I'm hoping there's some sort of fix for that. If not, we're just going to have to learn to counterplay it like we've learned to counterplay the other stuff. But I feel your pain. I know that feel. People are already back here. Quite obviously. I kind of just want to fight like one guy so I can get his loot. Do I play on East? Yes, I do indeed. Ha! <laughs> 
<laughs> rip, dude. I was so tilted last night, the last guy that we... The last, like... It was a 2v1 on the last guy. I was so tilted, I trap killed him. That's something I never do. I, like, ran at him and boxed him in and trapped him. And that is something I never do to close out a game. I was pretty tilted. I had to relieve the salt by flexing on the guy. He wasn't even, like... It was a, it sounds pretty domestic retelling it, but he was not even that bad. He was a builder. Like, he was able to build up a stack and, like, poke us and stuff. And I was like, screw this game. And I just ran straight at him and boxed him in and trapped him. So he's got to feel, he got to feel pretty sad about that one. I would feel sad if somebody boxed me in and trapped me, knowing that I'm capable of building against it. Rest in peace. Oh, uh, man. I swear that these people have... Woo, a buff. They know... They know when you're about to shoot, and they, like, make a little tiny adjustment to their movement. <clears throat> and, and then survive. I don't even know where... I guess he's on that ramp. I really don't know. Yeah, he's on that ramp. <sighs> I shouldn't be taking this fight. Let that be known. I'm gonna get snuck up on. Almost certainly. I should not be taking this fight. As a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get ahead of our stupidity and not take that fight. Let's go take that slurp for 75 shield. Rip. Oh, yeah. 100% strict. When I play with uh, my friend, if he goes down and I don't immediately kill the guy, my friend is dead. 100%. Because they, they literally, like... I don't know, man. I don't get I don't get players like that, to be perfectly honest. I get ones where it's like, I'm the last dude in my squad, so I'm going to ruin your fun. That one's fine by me. Like that, that one actually makes sense. But there are guys that will, like, screw their team, let me kill their entire team while they're trying to finish my downed friend. And it just doesn't make any sense because they die immediately after. And it's just like, dude, you could have killed me and your whole team would still be alive. But instead of killing me and letting your team... Like, live, you decided not to kill me, and your team died. I get those dudes all the time, and I hate it. It just doesn't make any rational sense, man. It's like, their choice is to try and kill me, and they all live. Or try and kill my down teammate, and they all die. And they always choose the down teammate. I agree with you 100% there. Why do I have my build piece out? You guys notice how that's been happening more lately? That's a mistake I need to fix. I've been pulling out my my uh, flat way too much in shotgun fights. That's a consequence of like missing the number pad. Like I know why I'm doing it. It's just not good. Ugh. Not a good thing at all. I'm barely even paying attention. I'm just going to rush this guy, guys, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm going to get shot in the back doing it. But there's a chug jug back there. Here I go. Okay, boys. Now there's people behind me. 
Let me catch up on the chat while I'm in the box. Yeah, exactly. Like, I normally abide by that unless I, it's a really early game and I don't have loot or something. I usually am like... I mean, it's just better to bait them out. It's just a lot easier to leave them up and give their teammates the illusion of a chance so that they, they rush at you. But nowadays, those dudes are, you know, it don't happen like that mostly. Why do people not take slurps? I mean, sometimes I, I don't take slurps because I don't want to waste the time. Like, I don't, whoop. I don't want to, like, uh, stop doing what I'm doing just to take the slurp. This dude definitely got that chug jug and is in a stack over there by where I was at. I want to go back to the high ground for that uh, heavy, though. That was a heavy and a launch pad. But yeah, I mean, nine times, I mean, not nine times out of ten, but I will usually take the slurp if I don't need it, just to deny. What a god! This dude's a god. He watches too many YouTube videos, but he is a movement god. Did you guys see that freaking, like... <laughs> oh, man. That dude ducked my shot like a pro. He watches way too many YouTube videos, though. I'm sorry, guy. A little too much YouTube, but excellent, excellent movement. I gotta commend you on your movement, but a little too many YouTube videos. But yeah, so what was I saying? Right. So, <clears throat> sometimes I'll deny the slurp, but sometimes I just legitimately don't want to stop moving, like, to where I'm moving. So, I'll leave them behind for the purposes of... Don't you dare other person shoot me. I want to pre-fire this man so bad. But I'm probably going to get sniped in the process. Like, to be perfectly honest, if I get sniped right now, I would 100% deserve it. A man can dream. There's one in there. I see him. And there's that one. That's two. I'm three and there's one unknown. Should I just do this like Twitch streamer style? Maybe pre-fire this guy? I don't know where the last guy is. He could be behind me for all I know. I need to be careful about that. But I do know that there's a carbide to my south, and there's this guy in the stack. That's what I know. I would pad on this guy, except there's nowhere good for me to land, and I'm not landing directly on him, because that's a death wish. I will, however, do this. He's building up. It's fine. Carbide's still over there. No idea where that last dude's at. Maybe the last dude's over there? That's a pretty fortified position. I'm just going to stay in motion, see what comes of it. Make sure my heavies are reloaded, or my shotguns, rather. Twitch streamer would launch pad? Exactly, but I'm, I'm more conservative than that. There's literally nowhere good to land except in his box, and any competent player is just going to throw down a trap and get immediately... I'm going to get immediately blown up. What I will do is help that carbide to pressure this guy's tower. That I can do. If I knock him down... Then I'll go. Now this guy's scared of me. Rightfully so. Woo, boys! How did he hit that shot, man? How do these dudes do this? Where are these gods? 
You know? I'm dead. Never mind. The bug didn't get me, boys. Alright, that was not bad. We tried to be a Twitch streamer. We did it! Woo! 